Femoroacetabular impingement is a chronic condition of the hip consisting of any abnormal contact between the acetabular rim of the pelvis and the head-to-neck ratio of the femur. Basically, it's any bony abnormality on the hip joint that causes grinding and impingement. There are two different types of impingement. There's cam-type FAI and pincer-type FAI, and the difference between the two is which part of the hip joint affects. Here's a picture of femoroacetabular impingement to help you visualize. Okay. Here's a normal femur where the head is spherical and the neck is concave, but with cam type impingement, there's an osteoabnormality here where the head of the femur is bigger than it should be, so it doesn't fit into the acetabulum well. Okay. Here is a pincer type femoroacetabular impingement where the acetabulum goes out farther than it should and it causes grinding on the femoral neck. And most, although some people have just cam or just pincer, most people have a mixed case of cam and pincer type where there's an osteoabnormality here which causes an osteoabnormality here. So there's grinding at both sites, the neck of the femur and the acetabulum. When diagnosing femoroacetabular impingement, it is important to note the patient's history. It usually affects males or females in their late 20s to 30s and they'll complain of groin pain. The groin pain they'll complain of will be deep and they will say it affects them when they squat or climb the stairs or do any other motion with hip flexion. It can affect physical laborers or professional athletes or any other athlete that uses their hips a lot. When ordering an x-ray for femoroacetabular impingement, it is important to not only get the anterior posterior but the lateral view as well because the anterior posterior cannot always indicate femoroacetabular impingement. Also, there's a measurement exclusive to femoroacetabular impingement on MRIs called the alpha angle. The alpha angle is made up from the from the center of the center of the femoral head down the neck and the center of the femoral head to the start of the osteoabnormality. So in a normal femur, there should be no alpha angle. But with like a cam type femoroacetabular impingement, you go from the center of the femur down the neck and the center of the femur to the start of the osteoabnormality, basically till it, start, it stops being a sphere, and that's your alpha angle. And the bigger the alpha angle, the more serious femoroacetabular impingement. A case study mentioned in my paper dealt with 45 professional athletes who were positive for femoroacetabular impingement and had the hip arthroscopy procedure as opposed to a hip open decompression surgery where the hip is dislocated. All of them but three returned to play within three years and the three who didn't had extensive hip damage and labral damage from an undetected femoroacetabular impingement. So it's very important to, if you have groin pain, get it checked out to make sure because if you have FAI and it's undiagnosed, it will definitely cause labral damage and lead to early onset hip arthritis. In summation, femoroacetabular impingement is basically any bony obstruction, any bony abnormality in the hip joint that is causing grinding and disruption. So if it's on the femur, it's cam type impingement. If it's on the acetabulum, it's pincer type impingement. But most people are positive for both. It's not sport specific and it happens in anybody who uses their hips a lot and it's uh, they don't know exactly what causes it and sometimes that the person can develop it just from birth so it's not something you can prevent it usually starts affecting people they get the signs of groin pain in uh, their late 20s to 30s and if they have groin pain you should try and rule it out with the impingement test but if the impingement test is positive should send them for x-rays and MRIs. And if they're positive for femoroacetabular impingement, you should get the arthroscopic surgery as soon as possible because labral damage will lead to early onset hip arthritis. The recovery time is depending on how extensive the damage. If there's not extensive damage, it's about a year and a half. And if it's extensive damage, it can be up to three years. 
see a doctor with any signs of groin pain to rule out femoroacetabular impingement.